When it comes to tracking your health, sleep and recovery, most of us have tried smart bands and smart watches. But recently, smart rings have started gaining traction in India. They're discreet, stylish and packed with features. The only problem? There are a ton of options now. And most of them look and feel almost identical. So how do you actually make a decision? And does a higher price tag mean better performance? To find out, we tested two extremes. The cheapest smart ring in India, the both smart ring active and the most premium one, the Ultra Human Ring Air. Let's start with unboxing the Bose Smart Ring Active. Right off the bat, the box for the Bose is much lighter than the Ultra Human. There's a huge quality difference in the packaging itself. I don't think I've ever seen this on a smart ring before, but this comes with a case as well. The packaging is very minimal. All you get is a USB to USB-C charging cable, no charging block, and a little bit of documentation. And now for the Ultra Human Air. This unboxing experience is much more like an Apple product as opposed to any ordinary smart ring. But same minimal documentation, a charging dock, a charging wire and some stickers of course. Much much nicer but then of course you're paying for the difference. Starting with design, both rings are head turners, but in very different ways. The Bose Smart Ring Active comes in black, rose gold and stainless steel. It looks trendy, it also looks flashy and it also comes with a magnetic charging case which is honestly super convenient and I've never seen that on any other smart ring. The Ultra Human Ring Air on the other hand is a powerhouse. Made with fighter jet grade titanium, reinforced with tungsten carbide carbon coating, it's 45% lighter than most smart rings and you feel the difference. It disappears on your finger, which is what you want if you're going to be wearing it 24/7. The winner, Ultra Human. It's not just about looks but also about comfort, durability and weight. Now let's talk health. The core reason you even get a smart ring. Bose packs in the basics: heart rate, peripheral oxygen saturation, sleep, steps, 20 plus sports modes. It gives you surface level insights that are good for casual users. But Ultra Human takes it 10 levels deeper with heart rate variability, body temperature, movement index, recovery score and much much more. It's not just basic numbers, it's interpreted numbers with actionable insights and nudges. Plus, their app experience is way more polished. Bose's Crest app is fine, but Ultra Human's app is like a mini lab in your pocket. The winner, Ultra Human easily. It's made for people serious about fitness, sleep and wellness. Now let's talk battery. Bose lasts about 4 to 5 days while Ultra Human clocks 4 to 6 days depending on usage. So that's a tie. But durability, Bose gives you 5 atm water resistance. Very nice. Ultra Human 100 meters. That's 10 atm which is way beyond Bose. The winner, yet again, it's Ultra Human because being waterproof isn't just about swimming, it's about trusting your gear anywhere. And now for the price. The Bose Smart Ring Active comes in at around 3800 rupees. It's affordable, stylish and gives you the basics. Great for someone starting out with health tracking. On the other hand, the Ultra Human Ring Air starts at 28499 rupees. So, should you be picking the Bose Smart Ring Active? Well, if you're on a tight budget, want the looks and just want to keep an eye on your steps and sleep, it'll definitely do the job. But if you care about real insights, serious health tracking and a genuinely good product, the Ultra Human Ring Air is hands down the better choice. It's lighter, smarter and built for people who care about what's going on inside, not just what's trending on the outside. Check the link in the description for the Ultra Human and if you're upgrading your fitness game this year, this might be your smartest investment yet. As always, if you want to stay updated with the latest in style and tech, be sure to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon.